Today, we're going to go over more mispronounced medical terms. Our first mispronounced medical term is telemetry. I was in a patient's room one night, and his brother came storming in. And he said, man, that doctor's lying. There ain't no lemon trees out there. I said, sir, what are you talking about? He said, that doctor said he's going to put my brother on the lemon tree. And I was like, no, nah, I'm pretty sure he said he's going to put him on telemetry. And he said, yeah, I was wondering how a lemon tree was going to make him feel better. Next, we have erectile dysfunction. That's when a man's little soldier can't stand at attention. A man told me one time that he was upset. Him and his wife couldn't make love because he had reptile dysfunction. I know that little thing in your britches might look like a snake. And that little snake might not stand up. But that don't mean you got reptile dysfunction. You got erectile dysfunction. Cataracts. I had a guy tell me one night that he had Cadillacs. I said, oh man, you got Cadillacs like an Escalade? He said, nah, man. I got Cadillacs. I can't see. I said, oh, you mean cataracts. They said, yeah, Cadillacs. Next, we have bronchial asthma. Had a lady walk up to me at Walmart. And she said, hey, I know you're a respiratory therapist. What can I do about my broccoli asthma? I said, well, you need to get you some ranch dressing. Put it in a nebulizer and breathe it in. That'll take care of that broccoli asthma. Listen, here's one of us respiratory therapists deal with every single day. O2 sat. But we often hear patients ask if we can check their O2 stat. No, we cannot check your O2 stat. We can check your O2 sat stat, but we can't check your O2 stat. Menopause. I've had men tell me that their wife has many paws. I'm like, well, you must be married to a cat or a dog, because that's the only thing I know with many paws. Next, we have fibroids in my uterus. Now, a fibroid is non-cancerous scar tissue in the uterus. I walked into a patient's room one night and she was crying. I said, ma'am, what's wrong? She said, the doctor just told me I gotta have surgery tomorrow because I got fireballs in my universe. And I said, well, that sounds like that burns. And I walked out. High blood pressure, or as they like to say around here, my sister got the pressure, or my brother got that high blood. It can't be the high blood pressure. It's gotta be the pressure or high blood. How does one get high blood? Is that from smoking the devil's lettuce? Dilated. I was walking down the hall at the hospital one night and this fella comes running by me. He says, man, where's the labor and delivery room? They just called and said, my wife is delighted. Eight centimeters. Well, if your wife is at eight centimeters, she ain't delighted. She's in a lot of pain right now, so she's dilated. Next, we have sickle cell anemia. A lady told me her daughter had sick as hell anemia. I'm like, yeah, well, she's probably sick as hell because of the sickle cell anemia. And last but not least, we have hiatal hernia. Had a patient tell me one night that he's gonna have to go to surgery because they was gonna have to remove his high anal hernia. He was so happy when I informed him that a high anal hernia is in your stomach. He was so relieved to know that they wasn't gonna have to mess with his butt. And that, ladies and gentlemen, concludes this episode of Mispronounced Medical Terms. God bless y'all. I love you.